Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Shade 39 Yes, you guys, it is early in the morning, so please excuse me. Excuse everything. Always the bathroom. But like I said, I'm going to be doing some changes. I don't know when, but for right now, I'm not here to talk about the background. I'm here to talk about this hair. Um, I got it last night. Um, and let me see if it has the vendor's name on it. I can tell you that it's a straight wig that I was telling you guys I was waiting on. It is in a 24 inch it's in its natural color. It says average size lace right here on the label. It came in this pink bag and had this wrapper and then a stocking cap. Sort of like, let me see if I have one. So sort of like a, just a brown stocking cap. So instead of this black one, it was just brown. So it didn't come like with anything like lashes or pearl earrings like I think the last time I got some pearl earrings yeah something like that so it wasn't anything extraordinary uh it did take about a month to get to me um I must say that because of the fact like I told you guys um I didn't pay the extra 15 bucks so that is why right here the puffiness is because I'm not a good hair braider so this is all my hair like right here braided back the best I can but what I'm going to do off camera, and I know you guys are wondering, why do I never show y'all what I do? But I always come back with the update, and then you guys get to see what it is I do. Now, um, I'm trying to see what the density is on here. If you guys really want to know, because it does not state it, I don't know why. Because to me, it wouldn't want to tell you why. I do know that it says, uh, gosh, it doesn't even have the name it just says from bridge okay well listen if you want to know who the vendor is uh, I'm gonna go into my account before I actually post this review um, but anyway he wants me to give him good ratings but you know that's the name but yeah anyway so yeah so when I got it like I said it has the 4x4 lace which are already glued down I use some got to be glue gel instead of my ghost bond glue like I normally do because it's just so little bit of lace that you don't really need all that ghost bond glue like you do when you have like a 13 by 4 or a 13 by 6 so it does come with your two combs which are right here which I hate um, just because it feels like it's snagging now um, it does have a comb to the back as well and then you two adjustable straps so even though it says average size you know for you guys that I say are big head friendly or you call yourselves that don't think that you can't put it on because as you can adjust the straps to your liking um, what I did, I'm going to let you know, like I'm going to try to find the density if it's really important. But I did wash it last night and then let it air dry. Unlike the other time on my kinky uh, straight, I didn't do all of that, but I did let it air dry. And then after that, this morning, I went through it again with the blow dryer. So it kind of has more volume than it did when I first got it. Because when I first got it, you guys, it was like really, really, really thin looking and I just thought to myself, what can I possibly do with it? Now, what I'm going to do, like I said off camera, is I'm going to take this and I'm going to lie it down so that my braids right here don't show um, through, you know, the wig because that's definitely not a good look. It doesn't look realistic. But what I am going to do for you guys is use my mineral powder. Now, like I said, I do need to invest in getting these some more and I did go to the hair store yesterday and didn't even think about it but I'm just gonna take my little brush I blow it on it yeah, I blew on it and just line it you guys know it'll run down just line it and look above you want to make sure I'm doing this right Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I need to get a hair braider because my hair has grown so much, you guys. Like seriously, I'm really happy about that. Um. So anyway. Okay. So like I said, excuse this bumpiness right here. This is my hair, but it's not the wig. So don't think like, oh God, this hair has a bump in it. Um, it can be parted on this side and on my right side and uh, I want to say yeah 
it, it could be done in the middle but I hate my straight hair wigs in the middle I do have a few synthetic ones that are like that and I mean they are cute um they're cute but like the human hair ones, I like to be able to party where I want. And I know y'all thinking like, why? That's just me. That's just how I am. Um, like I said, right now it's in its natural state, its natural color. But uh, it kind of almost looks black or one be, I should say, off black. Um, later on, I may dye it. Uh, you know, I may just do something. I believe it does come with baby hairs, you guys. Which I'm also going to play with off camera. And I'll give you guys an update. Probably like in a couple of weeks. Like once I, you know, fix this wig up to my liking. Like I said, I definitely think it's pretty. It is soft. Um, the only thing I could tell you is that if you're looking to get this particular wig. You're going to have to pay the $15 DHL. Like I told you with the other one. In order to get it within earlier than a month. Because honestly... It took a month to get here but um nevertheless even though i don't like these combs like i said it is easier for people who you know don't like to mess with glue because you have to be careful with this glue you guys a lot of people think well i know how to use glue but what i'm trying to tell you is that even this right here this um especially like excuse me i'm messing my lashes with i don't know put them on right so if i have to go back and fix them anyway and with the ghost bomb glue, y'all, like it'll snatch your hair. I'm not talking about the wig hair. I'm talking about your hair. So, you know, if you're worried about like, okay, you know, you're one of those people that don't know how to apply it, this is a good wig because you don't have to worry about like putting any glue like all around. Like when I do it, I lift up my wig, I push it back, and then I put the glue where it's not touching my hair. But a lot of people don't know how to do that. And then they don't have any edges and things like that. And if it's a 360, they don't have a nape in the back. No hair to the neck. So, I'm just kind of forewarning you guys that, you know, those of you who don't like glue, this will be the one for you. Um, like I said, off camera. And I'm sorry that I don't do everything on camera for you guys. But I am not yet set up for that. Like, I don't have all the editing and all that done yet. And I just don't have the time to. Like, I got off last night really late. And I did this for you guys because I want to tell you, you know, about the vendors and about the hair. And like I said, just giving y'all an honest update, an honest review. Like, it's not sponsored by anyone. It's something I purchased. And I want to say this wig ran for about $76. So, it was a good price, I thought. Very inexpensive for this length of hair. Like, I mean, you can see it. It's very long. It's touching my butt. So, it's long. So, for that amount of hair, I thought... You know, that length of hair and now that the texture is now a lot bulkier that's a good price you guys for a human hair wig that could last you forever like really if you take care of it so i just wanted to kind of like update you when i update you but do a review on this particular wig um like i said the vendor's not on here i don't understand why because normally they want you to put their name out there so they can get you to buy but um i can go look into my account if it's really 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 important to you guys because you want to know um i don't mind doing that matter of fact i will do that before i post it because it makes no sense for me to do a review and i don't have the vendor in case you guys want to order one like this so like i said i'm going to go and lie this down with my flat iron i'm gonna probably make me some baby hairs as you all know i love my baby hairs fix my lashes and um that's pretty much it you guys maybe put some little black concealer right not concealer but you know the little eyeliner type thing up there so that's about it now let me see when okay we got like one strand going on but like when i did comb it last night i did experience some shedding but like i said look at it it's better now it's a lot better and like i tell you guys the more you use it the more you wash it the more you wear it you'll start to notice that yes it gets a lot fuller so i'm just you know letting you know that if you decide to go with this wig and it looks like it's too thin don't think that that's the way it's gonna always look. It's not, you have to wear it often. You have to wash it. You definitely have to wash your wigs. Don't sit up there and not wash your wigs. So, um, you guys, this was it. I know it's like a basic review again. It looks almost like just, you know, I could have just stuck with a body wave wig and just straightened it and you can, it's up to you. Um, I just like versatility. I just like different types of wigs, that's just me. So it's up to you guys what you choose to do. Like I said, it was an anniversary sale. So 
I took advantage of it because I don't have a whole lot of human hair wigs like I started off with, maybe three. So now I must have, gosh, I don't know, maybe eight, nine now. So yeah, so I'm still gonna be looking for some other ones, a great deal, because I think they still have in a sale. So you guys, this was my review for today. I will do an update, I promise you guys, if not sooner, two weeks, if it probably be sooner. Just I'll let you know. But anyway, uh, for those of you who are my subscribers, you know I love you. Thank you in advance. And for those of you who are not, please subscribe to my channel, you guys, so you do not miss out on any of my reviews, makeup tutorials, my lashes that I got to go fix, and my updates that I'm going to be doing, and possibly even some singing that I might do later for you guys. So thank you for tuning into my channel, you guys. This is Shawty39, leaving out, and I hope you'll have a great day. Bye-bye.